welcome to day one of 24 days of Zoella. I am very excited to get started. The first video I am going to be doing is a November favourites because it's that time of the month again where we discuss all the things I've been loving and this month there are a lot of festive treats in store so it is a very fitting video to start with. I also have a lot of things to go through so I'm going to try not to ramble too much even though we all know that that is literally all I'm good at. I'm rambling about rambling. Let's just start shall we? Okay so I have a real mixture of makeup and beauty and random bits and pieces so I am going to get started. The first thing I've been absolutely obsessed with along with many other beauty enthusiasts is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit um, full of the most amazing things you've ever seen. Just look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. It has three different highlighters, and these are also highlighters, but they're kind of more on the blusher bronzer side, and it includes six different shades. They're all really beautiful. The ones I've been using the most are probably these three. Beautiful on the cheekbones, a really, really lovely palette. This would make a really great Christmas present, actually, if you know somebody who really, really likes their makeup. This is just beautiful. And as you can see by all the grubby little fingerprints, I've been using that a lot. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this. It's the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. It's very hard to read. This is gorgeous. This arrived in my PO box um, with a little press release that said that it, were, it was limited edition and I've brought it back permanently because so many people kicked up a fuss when it was gone and they wanted it back. So Clarins listened and they brought it back. And because of that, I was like, ooh, this must be a really lovely product. Like if everyone kind of got a bit annoyed about the fact that it had disappeared. And now I can completely see why that may have happened. This is gorgeous. I've actually been using this in place of my Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. Um, and it just makes my lips feel so moisturized and lovely and it gives off a really gorgeous shine on the lips which looks kind of like a lip gloss but you feel like it's actually doing something to your lips instead of ultimately drying them out. I love the scent, it's not too strong, it's a very delicate kind of sweet kind of scent um, but it's perfect, absolutely perfect. I really like it, it kind of looks like honey and has the texture of honey. I was about to put this on my lips then, I'm so glad I didn't because I would have had red all over this. The applicator as well is, is like no other doe for applicator I've ever used. It's really quite wide but it also bends slightly and I think this is one of the reasons I really enjoy this because it's nice to apply. It doesn't feel too hard, it feels very cushiony, it's like a real treat for the lips. And I've been applying this whenever I haven't had any other lip product on my lips. I've just been applying this like religiously and I really really like it. They also have one with a teeny tiny little um, pink tint to it and I also really like that one as well but this one I just love a little bit more because it's clear, it looks really shiny and it makes your lips look and feel really healthy so this is, this is basically my new obsession and I absolutely love it. The next thing I've been wearing a lot and you will see throughout these videos that I will have a red lip quite a lot of the time. I feel like red lips are very festive. Um, I also own a lot of red lipsticks and I love red lipstick all year round but I feel like Christmas is the perfect time to kind of don a red lip permanently. Um, so another lip colour that I have been absolutely obsessed with alongside my classic Rimmel 107 is this one which is the NARS Dragon Girl Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I love this colour a lot. It glides on really lovely, the consistency feels nice, um, the pigmentation is amazing and it lasts really, really well. It also doesn't bleed much, which I really like. The only little tiny thing that I don't like about this, although it is in my favourites because ultimately I love it, but the, there's only one small downside to this and that's if you put the lid on quite quickly, it sort of springs back up because the air inside gets trapped which has resulted in a few cases of lid escaping in handbag, which is devastating for both the lining of the handbag and the lip product. So that's the only little thing I'm kind of like a bit worried about with it, but I just have to make sure I've got it in a little zippy bag inside my actual bag and it's fine. But you just can't put the lid on too quickly, or otherwise it kind of flies off. That's okay though, I can live with that. So the next thing is a ColourPop cream gel colour. 
Um, so I've been using these as an eyeshadow base. They are incredible. You guys know how much I love ColourPop. I think they're an American brand, but they just really specialize in getting color right, I feel like. like the pigmentation of their products is like nothing I've ever experienced. I thoroughly recommend them. Both lips, eyes, everything. Um, and these are little gel pots, which I suppose you could use for liner or you could put all over your eyelid. I've been putting it all over. The best way to apply these is with your finger. I've tried both. I've tried with a brush and with my finger. They just give off this really gorgeous metallic-y colour and I am just obsessed with them. They also have the most amazing colour range. I now have a lot of these in my makeup collection, but I just, I really, really like the quality of them and the pigmentation is honestly like nothing I've ever experienced. So if you guys know where to get hold of Colourpop from, give it a go, try it out. You will not be disappointed. Why can I say that? This next thing I also received this month. Obviously, for those of you who don't know, it might sound a bit strange that I'm like, I was sent this, I was sent this. I'm sure all of you know by now, but because of my YouTube and my blog, a lot of companies do send me new product releases, which I'm so grateful for. It's every time I get my PO box, it's literally like Christmas in this house. Um, so the other thing that was sent to my PO box, which I am obsessed with, is this palette, which is the Urban Decay, Decay? <laughs> Urban Decay. The Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, which came out this month, or last month as you're watching this. So I was really excited by this. However, before I opened it, I did think it would be quite vibrant. You know, she's quite um, adventurous and confident with different makeup looks. So I did think this might not be a palette that was completely up my street. I was completely wrong. It is beautiful. It has so many gorgeous wearable shades that I have been wearing pretty much every day of November. The only two shades I have slightly struggled with are the pink one and the blue one, but everything else I just absolutely love. Um, there is a good selection of shimmer shades and matte shades, and I feel like around this time of year when a lot of people are kind of opting for a red lip or a slightly more bold colour on the lip, a lovely neutral eye is exactly what you need and I think this palette offers you so many different options. The last semi-beauty item is this which is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Hand Cleansing Gel. I love antibacterial hand, hand gels and things, always good to throw in your handbag. I have quite the selection, especially since I became a little bit obsessed with Bath & Body Works. I have so many of those because they have such a great variety. And over here in the UK, we don't really have too much choice when it comes to antibacterial hand gels. Soap and Glory also have another one, which is their kind of more traditional scent, and I do like that, but not as much as the Bath & Body Works ones, because that isn't my favorite Soap & Glory scent. My favorite Soap & Glory scent, however, is this one. So you can imagine the joy I felt when I received this. I was like, yes! The Sugar Crush scent smells like lime and brown sugar and everything amazing and yes, slightly summery, but also I'm not opposed to a scent that is amazing through a time where it's not so sunny. That I have really been loving. If you haven't smelt this yet, go and smell it. You will love it. Moving on to slightly more random things. Um, this month has seen a rise in me drinking flavoured tea because it's been so cold out. In fact, literally last week, the temperature dropped from like 15 to three. Um, so all of a sudden I was like, oh, yep, it's definitely cold now. So I've been drinking a lot more flavoured tea. And two that I have been reaching for the most are these. So the first one is Tea Pigs and it's minty fresh, naturally caffeine free peppermint leaves. This is my favorite mint tea. I absolutely love this. Also alongside um, the, is it Marks and Spencer? I think it might be Marks and Spencer. They do a really lovely um, Moroccan mint tea. I also love that one. But this one is quite a sweet mint and I really, really like that. It's like drinking candy canes and I've, I just try it. If you, if you are the sort of person that doesn't like traditional English tea, try something else because it's still lovely to drink these and actually very beneficial for you. So 
yeah, that one, been loving. I've also been loving the Bluebird Tea Company Gingerbread Chai. This again is little tea bags that you just kind of leave in the boiling water and this just tastes like Christmas in a cup and I'm obsessed with it and I love it and you need to try it. This next thing is kind of random but it is me you're talking about so I'm never gonna have just ordinary things in a favourites. As it's nearly Christmas, um, the shops are filled with basically regular food that's been turned into the shapes of Christmas trees and baubles and stars and it's just branded Christmassy. However, there are, cer there are certain things that come out this year which come out every year which just make me feel so Christmassy and so festive and I have to have them in my house because otherwise it just doesn't feel like a proper Christmas. And the first thing is cheeselets! Um, if you are not in the UK and you don't have anything like this, you are seriously missing out. You need to get hold of some of these from somewhere. They are amazing. They're basically tiny little cheese crackers covered in cheesy dust. And I'm pretty sure I've done a favourites video where I've talked about these before because me saying that has just completely rung a bell. I have, haven't I? I must have. I think I have. Someone find it and prove me right. I also have Twiglets and I also have mini cheddars that are in the shapes of baubles. Alongside those snacks, I've also been loving other Christmassy treats, which are celebrations and roses. These two are actually my favourites. Um, they give you a lovely mix of different sweeties and chocolates, and to be honest, it's just not Christmas unless you've got these in your house. And whenever anyone comes around, I'm like, ooh, would you like a celebration? Would you like a roses? And I'm not gonna lie, I do have the heroes and I also have the quality streets. I am going to be putting on quite a bit of weight over Christmas, I should imagine. And not just me, everyone who visits my house. <laughs> Soz! Starting to see all the ones that no one likes though, and that's never good. Now we've got the food out of the way, I have three more random things. The first thing, this is kind of random and it's not related to Christmas at all, which may shock you slightly. Um, I was in TK Maxx and recently I've had a really, really bad back. I feel like it was from doing all the book signings, um, plus signing all the pre-orders. I feel like it's just caught up with me, and I've been like waking up in the middle of the night in such bad pain, just along here basically. My back is just ruined. <laughs> ruined my back, but it's okay, it was worth it. So I basically need to book myself a massage, but I'm too busy and I don't have time to go and have a massage. So when we were in TK Maxx, um, Alfie actually found these and there were two of them. They look like a dog ball and Nala has been kind of confused and trying to uh, play with it. Um, but it's a massage ball and you can just kind of roll this around your body or on the bottoms of your feet. My mum was showing me. Like if you roll them on the bottoms of your feet it feels amazing. Or if you get this on a wall and you kind of just press up against the wall and roll the ball around where your back is hurting or where you've got knots or if you've got a lot of tension. Um, I've just found this a lifesaver. I used to use Nala's little um, tiny dog toy tennis balls, uh, but now I have reverted to an actual massage ball, and it's, it's just such a good investment. If any of you feel like you have a lot of tension or you store your stress here or you work on a laptop quite a lot, I feel like most YouTubers and bloggers watching this will at some point be told that they need to have regular massages. I actually have been told so many times I should be having one a week because I'm constantly like this. So I feel like everyone should have one of these. This next thing was bought in Next. Um, I've bought a lot of all my Christmas stuff from Next because I just think this year they've really got it right. I feel like they do most years. When it comes to Christmas they have such amazing decor and always things I love. But when I went in there the other week, um, I was hit with the smell of Christmas and I was like, what is that candle? I need it. And then I worked out it was actually a um, reed diffuser and it just smells of Christmas and it smells amazing so I wanted to put it in my favourites because I currently have three of these dotted around my house. My Zoella Beauty ones have taken a little step back and I've, and I've replaced them with next ones. I'm such a good promoter of my own products, aren't I? It just kind of smells like that traditional cinnamony, quite heavy on the orange, 
and clove kind of smell and because it's a reed diffuser it really goes far and you don't have to be burning a candle kind of 24 7 to have that amazing smell in your house so I have bought three of these I've got one in my bedroom and two dotted around downstairs and I just thought I would let you know because they're really great and this is currently what my house smells like although the other day Alfie did get into bed and said why does our room smell like vomit and I was like oh no I think he might mean the reed diffuser in which case I mean, I don't think it smells of vomit. Okay, and if my little puppy cooperates here, the last thing I have really been enjoying, I am gonna say it before I try and lift her up, is TK Maxx and HomeSense for Christmas doggy clothes. I get really carried away when it comes to my own dress sense and environment when it comes to Christmas, and that is obviously gonna rub off on my dog, and I have bought her a couple of very cute outfits. In fact, a lot of you guys were very generous at my book signing and gave me a couple of really lovely little Christmas Nala outfits as well. I have said this before, but I'm just gonna say it again in case you missed it, but Nala actually really enjoys wearing clothes. I think it's because she knows she's the center of attention and I think it's because it feels like she's just being permanently hugged. Um, she's actually a better behaved dog in clothing. That sounds ridiculous, but I've spoken to a lot of people who've, say this, who've said the same thing about their dog, so at least I know that's a normal thing. Um, so I have picked up a couple of very cute Christmassy outfits and HomeSense and TK Maxx have so many great ones. Like honestly, you need to go in there. Like they even just have the most adorable little Christmas hats, like everything. So I've bought a couple of those, which I'm sure you'll see throughout Vlogmas um, and probably on my Instagram. But I just wanted to show you one of the outfits that I did get her because it's so cute. <laughs> Look at this little... Christmas cutie. There we go. This is Nala's Christmas outfit. It's so cute. It's got a little belt and it's like a little Christmas dress but it's got a cape and it's just the best thing I've ever seen. Look how content she is in clothes. I think it's because we popped her in those jackets when she was little. I'm gonna take the hat off though. I don't leave that on her. Just put it on for short amounts of time. Okay, so that is everything I've been loving through November. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And make sure you are subscribed to my second channel. I will leave a link in the description box right at the top. Um, because as of tomorrow, there will be a vlog every single day up until the 25th, which is Christmas Day. I'm so excited for you guys to see all of these videos that I have for you. And yeah, this is day one, day one done. Hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, make sure to subscribe, make sure you're back here tomorrow at the same time, and I will see you there. Bye!